the amount that they got right is actually quite surprising. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, this is my review of Supernatural Season 2 Hollywood Babylon. This is an episode that I have not seen since I started working in the film industry. And now that I have, holy shit. There's so many references, there's so many jokes, there's so many procedures that I know of now and understand that this episode means so much more to me than it did before. It's still a decent episode for someone who hasn't worked in the industry, but for me personally, there's a lot of things that are dead on. Dead on on the idea that pas are slaves the fact that producers will sometimes just utter the dumbest shit out of their mouths and some of the stupid weird politics the actors how they talk with each other how some crew have this weird sort of society amongst them all the only thing that was a little bit eh, is how dean is just able nonchalantly to walk in and out of trailers i thought that was a little weird but this episode is about these guys coming onto a film set hiding around as pas which at the time, maybe it might have been a little bit easier to walk on. There's a legendary story that Steven Spielberg snuck onto a set when he was a kid, and that's how we got into film in the first place. Obviously, it's a lot harder now because you got to fill out your start packs, you got to fill out the non disclosure agreements, blah, 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 blah. And we see them making this terrible, terrible horror movie in an actual studio. And some of this, in fact, was shot at North Shore Studios. This is a studio I was actually working at for a couple of months on a show that I'm kind of curious of whether it's going to come out anytime soon now because of all the COVID stuff. But one of the most impressive shots in this entire episode is when they take a turn past uh, Studio 2, I think, and they're in between 2 and 4. And it's just this long walk, long, long walk and you see different people in costumes and there's all this equipment and trucks and whatnot. When they pass through the middle, that's usually where all the work trucks are. That's usually where the trailers are, makeup, hair, wardrobe, all that. And they walk all the way to the end of the lot almost. I thought this was such an impressive shot. And I was talking with a few people who I work with and I even asked them and said, hey, how much of this do you think is actually from the show? And how much of it is another show being there? Because when we were working there, there was three different shows there. There was I think, the Twilight Zone and there was Nancy Drew at the studio when we were working there. So this studio has the room to have multiple shows at it at one time. But as for the episode itself, I think it's funny. I think that the humor is really good. I love how they make fun of how terrible horror movies are, how terrible it is to work on them sometimes and just the utter stupidity of it. I did like the idea that it was just a vengeful writer because sometimes the writers do get fucked. But really this is just a very very funny episode. Obviously they also take a shot at Canada where they say that this is Hollywood but the weather here is practically Canadian. Not all of it was shot at North Shore though. Man that's tongue twister to say that. Not all of it was shot at North Shore because there's this upper gallery that they walk into and as far as I know none of the studios there have that so maybe they shot it at the one of the studios that they use mostly in Richmond. But either way it's a funny episode. For me I enjoy this episode a hell of a lot more now because of the reference material that I can use to my own job. It is a funny episode. Is it a great episode? Yeah it's probably the first time they went really meta which then would lead into the french connection which went even more meta so i personally think this is a very very good episode for me and i would give it personally a five but from an actual episode perspective i would give it more so a four because while it's funny there's not really much that happens in it it's just a really funny filler episode but it's still a very good episode so for me personally i'm going to give it a five out of seven and I asked you guys for your comments about this episode, so let's take a look and see what you guys have to say. I loved Hollywood Babylon due to the fact that Crip Key said in behind the scenes feature that everything Gary Cole's studio executive character said was an actual note that they received from a, from the studio about Supernatural. You know, like there's that line where he says, does it actually really have to be that dark? I've met a bunch of studio executives and studio producers that would say something that insane the very first meta episode of supernatural minus the ghost story every scene is just meta 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 the best episodes of supernatural are definitely the ones that poke fun of themselves the best line in this episode to your left is stars hollow where they film gilmore girls and if we're lucky we might see one of the stars oh yeah that's true because he was on gilmore girls wasn't he hollywood babylon is an episode i enjoy watching on its own but as it was intended it is super cheesy and brings nothing to the main storyline i guess following a heavy hitter like heart this episode gives viewers an emotional break while I still prefer the French mistake in terms of supernatural meta episodes, I still really f like the self-awareness this show had early on. The inclusion of Easter eggs like real critical reviews, Jared's reaction to Gilmore Girls, and the literal trailer that clips from the past episodes was fun to watch. And they don't pull any punches with the horrible acting and the awkwardness in, in nearly every scene. 
Also liked when Dean was so excited to be in LA and Sam makes a joke that's practically Canadian weather. Yep, that's Vancouver life for you. All the same though, on a serious note, watching this episode is kind of depressing because I almost imagine Kripke being Walter. Watching his good storytelling being torn apart. All the comments about brighter lighting, retcon, unnecessary and flat humor, etc. essentially describe the supernatural after season 5. That's actually not a bad point. I, I kind of wonder how he feels about this. Once the show ends, I'm very interested to see what Kripke says about what happened to Supernatural after he left. I love when a good show makes fun of itself and its genre, but watching this episode just makes me realize Supernatural has become the very thing it ridiculed. I mean, this episode is clearly making fun of itself, but nowadays I can't tell if every episode is self-aware or if the show is really just that much bad writing. Hollywood Babylon is a great example of when Supernatural was able to juggle meta humor and more serious episodes. At a time when the rarity for this top form of storytelling was refreshing and surprising, not overused. This is a long comment, but really a lot of the points that are said here are very, very true. Uh, the Supernatural has essentially become exactly, exactly what this is. It's shot much brighter than it used to be. It looks like it's a fucking soap opera episode. The retconning of garbage stuff just completely is done without any sort sort of question or whatnot. They don't even try. Like the fans are better at keeping track of the actual lore than the showrunners are. It is actually kind of depressing now thinking about it. God damn. Anyways, guys, that's my review for this episode. Next episode is Folsom Prison Blues. So make sure to give me your guys' comments about what you liked about that episode. And I'll read off the best ones in the next review. Also, just one more thing to say. If you guys haven't seen the video yet, Jade and I are once again doing a team up and we are taking any questions that you guys have that you would like us to answer about Supernatural. And we're going to be putting into a really big super part episode. I'm going to put a link for that video at the end of this video here so you guys go there and put your comments in there or on the community tab or on Jade's video or whichever. We're really excited to see what you guys' questions are. Also one 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 more thing. The Titan AE Forgotten Marvel video will be coming up tomorrow so I hope you guys are really excited for that. I am really excited for this. I've been working on this video for a long time now. I've been working on it for far too long so I hope you guys really enjoy it. It's going to be really fun. So make sure to check that out tomorrow. Anyways guys that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did leave a like and if you're interested in more subscribe. Otherwise see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show Undergrads. It's been a while but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.